Now, yesterday there was big news as First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said she'll be stepping down from the role after eight years in the job. I've been finding out more. And so today I am announcing my intention to step down as First Minister and leader of my party. The First Minister is the most important job in Scottish politics. Nicola Sturgeon has had the job longer than anybody else and while she's been in charge, she's seen five different UK Prime Ministers, the Brexit referendum and a global pandemic. But where did it all start? At the age of just 16, Nicola Sturgeon got into politics to argue that Scotland should be independent from the United Kingdom. She joined the Scottish Parliament in 1999 and was Deputy First Minister from 2007. Then, in 2014, she got the top job of First Minister. She was a successful politician, winning many elections. So the question is, why has she left? The news of her stepping down came as a big surprise. She said she felt it was the right time to go. But Nicola Sturgeon has had a tough few months. She's faced criticism of how she has dealt with issues relating to gender identity and questions in her own party about how well the campaign for independence is going. So what happens next? A new leader of the Scottish National Party will be elected and as leader of the largest party in Scottish Parliament, it's expected they will become the new First Minister. Nicola Sturgeon's main aim as First Minister was independence for Scotland, but she didn't manage to achieve this. Despite her stepping down, the arguments for and against independence will still carry on. Nicola Sturgeon has been an important figure here in Scotland for a long time now. And you can tell that by the messages that have been sent from other politicians around the UK. The UK Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, thanked her for her long service and wished her all the best in the future. Now, when Nicola Sturgeon does go, it'll be a really big change. Many of you watching will have only known one person as First Minister of Scotland. Well, you can read more about this story over on the Newsround website.